Today we're going to talk about systems of equations. A system just means two or more equations. To solve a system, you're looking for the solution that works in both equations or the point that they share on a graph. So first, let's solve this system by graphing it. We'll graph the first equation in green. So it has a y-intercept of negative 3 and a slope of 1 half. So rise 1 and run 2. And you'll want to do that several times so you can get a nice clean line. We can also go back this way by moving down 1 and to the left 2. That still creates a positive slope. Now we'll graph the second equation in pink. It has a y-intercept of negative 9 and a slope of 2 or 2 over 1. So rise 2, run 1. The solution to this system is this point where they intersect. That's the one point that both lines have in common. So that point is located at 4, negative 1. If I want to test out the solution, I can plug this in each equation and it should work. If I plug in a 4 for x and a negative 1 for y, this should be true. 1 half of 4 is 2, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Let's try it in the second equation. y is negative 1, x is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So that is the one point that makes both of these true. Now you may see systems of equations written in function notation. So we could write instead of a y, f of x and then you may see other letters used like g of x. This means the same thing as y. Let's look at a word problem situation and how you can use a system of equations to solve. Let's say you love mini golf. If you want to pay to be a member, you can pay $28, and that'll save you on games. Games for members cost $2. For non-members, they cost $6. Now, we could graph both situations just like we did before and see where the lines intersect, or some students like to make a table of values to help organize their thoughts. So let's do a table for members and non-members. And we'll think about what each will pay depending on how many games they play. So we'll do games and cost. Okay, we have our tables of values set up. For members who play zero games, they're still going to have that initial cost of $28. But now we can add two for each game. Now let's look at non-members. Non-members who don't play any games have no cost. But if they play one game, they pay $6. And then we can keep adding To use a table of values to solve this system, we're looking for when the x and y are the same in both tables. So if we look down our list here, we can see 7, 42, 
and 742. So that means for both members and non-members, seven games will cost $42. This table will help us also to see if you play less than seven games, then you probably shouldn't be a member. But if you're gonna play more than seven games, being a member will save you money. A couple things to look out for when you're solving systems. A typical system will have one solution, one intersection. But watch out when you have parallel lines. If both lines have the exact same slope, but different y-intercepts, they're parallel and they will never intersect. So that means there is no solution. If you graph one line of the system, and then you come along and graph the second line of the system, and they're the exact same line, that means they share lots of points and that's infinitely many solutions. So both of these situations have same slopes, but here the y-intercepts are different, and here the y-intercepts are the same.